Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Tuesday, a little later than you're uh, used to, but uh, got a lot of stuff going on with the web shop, and it's not looking too good for the um, for the uh, export to uh, the USA and Canada. It's uh, I thought I had a um, um, a a yeah, how do you call it? A, sh a shipment partner that could ship it for uh, seventeen dollars, but that just fell through. They can't do that, or I need to move to Germany because um, if you want to uh, use that, you know the the coupon codes they have, you have to live in Germany. You have to have a um, a return address in Germany. I don't have one, can't get one, so that's not gonna work. So the next one, the most um, cheapest way to get it to you guys is uh, DHL. You all know that, I, I guess. It's like UPS, but it's called DHL. And um, that's 24 euros. So that's 10 euros more. And it's really pissing me off, really. Sorry for the piss off word, but it, it is because I live 50 meters from the German border, but I can't bring the packages over there they don't do it because you have to have a Dutch address of a German address you can't have a Dutch address it's ridiculous but okay I'll go f I'll, I'll, I'll look some more I don't know what to do well let's get to the painting to the fun part the part where I get my energy and I go to my Zen place this is the uh, sponsor list July 2017 and these are the last ones updated up until this morning 11 o'clock something like that so thank you all very much for uh, helping me keeping my channel afloat that's one thing that works right <laughs> yeah that works because um, this is the bit where I really think okay we get to paint now, a lot of people always ask me about um, showing you guys the dried pieces. This one is pretty much dry. Let's not put a finger somewhere where it's not dry. <laughs> um, the gold sort of um, bunched up a little, as you can see here. And I don't see any... Oh yeah, I see a little bit of bronze here. But I got two uh, new ones. And... That's what we're going to try today, because um, I really want something with uh, bronze. This is the bronze. It's really beautiful. I want something with bronze and with gold in it. And I thought it would go good with uh, turquoise. And really, this is a, a lot of fun. This is. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is put one drop of silicone in the unbleached titanium this is unbleached titanium and it's all Vallejo uh, fluids so I'm stirring that in and no silicone for the rest there we go and I am thinking about uh, thinning this down because this is um, it comes off the stick but not not as well as I'd like So what I thought I'd do is just put some more polymer medium in there, just to make it a little thinner, that I can put it in with the pour. Let's see how thin that is now. Let's see. It is thin, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stay down, so I'm going to put it in the cup first. Then we have the gold, same thing needs a little bit more just to make it a little bit more fluid and what I could also do is add just a little bit of alcohol uh, yes just a little bit of alcohol There we are. Yep, 
Yeah, that's looking better. Because I, I read that alcohol is the only thing that can change the density. So we're going to try it out. Oops, spilled a little bit. So we will uh, start off with the, the the metallic, the bronze, and the gold. Then in comes the a lot of that unbleached titanium. Nice little bit of turquoise. The beautiful rusty brown on top. The lighter turquoise. And I'm going to use all of this. That's it. Then on top of that, a little bit more of the unbleached titanium. And some lighter colored or darker colored turquoise. Then we're going to give it a little swirl. And this is uh, not totally full, so I might have to make a little bit more. But I'll show you. Here we go. Let me get you a good... That is pretty nice. That's a lot of... That's a lot of uh, turquoise. That's sort of how I like it. And there comes the gold. And there's my dog. Yep, someone at the door. Okay, gotta go. Okay, we're back. Someone was at the door. Here we have the, uh, the poor. So I have to tip it over. There's a lot of gold. But it went straight to the bottom, I guess. There it is. Don't know where those chunks come from. Don't know where that came from, but we'll get it out. There it is. You don't even see it. If you take it out straight away, you can't even see it. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with the rest of the gold. I know everyone's saying no more ribbons, but this one is yelling for ribbons. Let's see what we can do. Because I want to really test out this gold stuff, and there should be um, there should be it sinking right through. <laughs> see, this is good for uh, experiments because I can really see it just go straight through. Let's see if we put a drop on top. What happens? Oh, it's coming out slowly. It's going straight through too. And the lines, you can uh, almost not see them. So we have to really get some other, uh, something else to mix this with. The polymer medium, too thin. This is, uh, let's 
Let's see if we put a little gold here. What happens to it? You can really see it move. So I'm just, you know, testing it out, guys. This is not to be make a really pretty picture. I did pick um, uh, pretty colors because, you know, you want to see how they uh, react. But other than that, this stuff sinks straight through. So as you can see, only here because it's such a large amount. But otherwise, it'll just go straight through. There again, go straight through. The only way to get it up is, I think, if I were to blow with a um, with a uh, straw, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to do some more testing. So I'm going to take some of that clear gel. Oops, don't drop it. There it is. And... So I'm going to make it thicker again. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. But you have to have something that, that you can do it with, mix it with. See that gold one is already gone too. <laughs> Putting a big drop on there. Now, just making it a little bit more incorporated into the uh, pour. Like that. It's totally disappearing still. I think we'll just have to wait till it all dries to see what happens then. But this is not um, this is not the way I really like it. So I'm gonna put a big splotch up here. makes it a little bit more interesting but nah, I'm not totally uh, in love with it I do like the way you can you know just move your stick in it and manipulate these uh, pieces that you maybe don't like you have to you have to keep on cleaning your stick because otherwise it doesn't work. But as you can see up here, see how you can pull down. It's like uh, paper marbling. That's what it reminds me of. You can make all these little, nice little patterns, and it's almost like paper mar marbling. There you go. It does give a different dimension to the cells because normally we have those nice and round cells, but now you get more of a different feel to it. So this might be something that you could do if you, you know, just have a pour and you think, well, I like the colors, but I don't like the, uh, I don't like the cells that came out of it. So you could just do this. Okay, I'll give that a chance, this to dry and that bit. But what I'm thinking is it would be way, way, way better if you put it on top. So with some sort of a glazing medium and then just put this stuff on top. Now, we have this one. I'll put this one away for a bit. 
it, this is just the test. I didn't even do the sides, so. Okay, so we had this one. And as you can see, there was metallic in there. You see the metallic bits. And um, this is where I put the uh, yellow dots, which sort of got, you know, mixed into the color that was underneath. But I was thinking if we did something, because I have, here I have a uh, blue, and it's pretty thick. But it's another color blue, as you can see. But we could do something small with it. Uh, just to see how it um, will dry. That I don't really like, so we can take it off. See, and this is uh, another advantage of doing it when your painting is dry because um, you can just take it off if you don't like it. Now I'm sucking up the paint in my little syringe. And someone said I should do a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or D Dr. I don't know, but they wanted me to do a real creepy laugh. But we'll just skip that for now. Okay, let's see. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to put some on here. Just to see how it dries up. Okay, now someone's calling me. Oh, no, 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 it's not someone calling. I'd like to see how this dries because that's pretty interesting. Let me put some up here too. See if it dries uh, thick, then I'm not sure I like it. If it dries a little smooth, then I might like it. So we'll keep that there. Then, can you see them? The drops? Yeah, you can. So we'll just see what they do when they dry. That's going to be pretty interesting. And for now, oh, maybe important information. Because I am getting so many mails of people saying, Oh, I went to the shop and it's empty. I was too late. People, you're not too late. We haven't even started yet. So the first order is going to come in on Friday, I hope. And by then, I will have the, the, the shipping costs totally uh, figured out. But I'm afraid uh, that for the $17 for two kilos, that's not going to happen. Because uh, I can't get a... Um, I can't get in address in in Germany that just won't won't work so um, I'll uh, I hate it that I have to disappoint you guys but you know I'm I'm I've been checking every single day last night I was up until uh, midnight uh, looking for uh, the most uh, cheap way to send it to uh, to the USA but I'm not coming up with anything cheaper than 24 euros for two kilos and then you have, I think, 36 euros for five kilos. So if someone could, if you could, I don't know, find someone who wants the paint also, if you like two people ordering, that might be a, a way to get it cheaper. Yes, okay, people, I'm going to put this one up. I have to stick those two videos together and then I'll put it up. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.